research has found that two-thirds of parents help their children with their homework, with many of them doing all of it, if they can do it at all. Well, some parents are shocked by that statistic. One of them is journalist and mum of four, Angela Epstein, who thinks children will never learn if they get help. While many mums and dads, like radio DJ Dominic Byrne, think their children should always feel they can ask their parents for help. Right. The loser gets 200 lines. <laughs> uh, I must or must not help my children with their homework. <laughs> I feel a bit of a ding-dong coming on. Let battle commence. OK, well, the thing is that I've been to school and I don't think my teachers are terribly interested in whether I can do long division or spelling and punctuation anymore. What they should be interested in is whether my daughter, for example, can do it. So if I sit there with her and actually respond to her saying, I can't do it, then they've got no idea whether she's struggling or not. What they're essentially doing is marking my homework. And I think they need to know, and it takes a brave teacher to say to children, look, don't be intimidated. If you can't do it, bring it in. Let's mark it for effort. And otherwise, what you do is you create this culture of dependency. I can't go into the exam with them. I'd like to, but I can't sit there right, and help let them. me let Dominic come back on this now. So you're doing it for them. What's the use in that? I, I, I think you're wrong. Um, if you are trying to help your children, just like teachers would at school, if you're trying to help nurture, encourage your children, I think you should also encourage them with their homework as well. I'm not saying you do the entire 20 questions, but, you know, if you want to set the table for tea and the fish fingers are burning and there are two questions there and you say, I don't know, the answer's 24 and... Uh, algebra or something oh, like that. That's, and not that's, fine, isn't it? that's, that's doing it. That's di that is doing. And also, what, how do you know that you're doing it correctly or that the way you're showing them is in tandem with what they're learning at school? So what you can actually commit is a spectacular own goal because what you're doing is saying, this is how we did it when I was at school a thousand years ago. And don't they do this anymore? Exactly. OK, thank you. All right, five, <laughs> five hundred years ago. I've lost the vote already. She's got, she's really she, she got a point I think, here. I think there is a difference between helping and making sure they understand the subject and possibly helping them answer a few questions. I mean, I don't... I'm not very What's intelligent. My wife though? is, and she's quite good at math, so sometimes she will sit there and take the time to help them. What's I'd... the difference between helping them and helping them to do it, in other words, doing it themselves? Because if but you that's sit what, that's there... But that's all the teachers do. All no, no, teachers do is help and encourage and, and teach, but isn't it? that's what they're there for. They're there to show our yes, children how to do it. And You've I don't think that should stop. The thing is, Dominic, I'm sure you're an everyman, but you can't be in the classroom when they're being shown how to do long division. I was baffled by long division, by the way. I don't know whether they've got some new technical way of doing it, but... If you're not in the classroom and you're not there to follow all the processes about how they work it out and analyse it in their mind, when you come and sit down and say, well, you take three eggs and you put them in a basket and the farmer comes along and your kid looks at you and thinks, what on earth are yeah. you talking Let about? Let me ask you, Chris, did you help your children with homework? If I saw them struggling and, you know, tearing their hair out and say, I say, look, 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 let me help. And they always said, no, it's OK, Dad, it's really OK. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality of yeah. it, isn't it? And he it? knows what... He was a vet. He, he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> he's had his hand up a cow. I mean, you know, would you want, him, would you want his hands to be on your child? He's heard anyway? all this before. Yeah. Be kind to him. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, no, I think, I mean, I, I genuinely, I think everybody wants to help their children and support and encourage their children. That's all it is. You don't is. want them and to struggle, but there should be a fine line between helping and actually doing it. And what happens is when you sit there and you have the emotional response as a parent, so when they say, I can't do it, Mum, you end up saying, oh, OK. Give it here. Exactly. Yes. I don't want to be marked for, right. for my achievements, okay. it's for no, their no, effort. No, thank you. But you do not need a piece of paper to somehow give some kind of legislation to that commitment. You but isn't, isn't, isn't being married to somebody more than a piece of paper? And you don't mind people opening up a newspaper and seeing you topless? It's no, not... I don't. I'm so proud of my body that I'm willing to show it off to people.